Alright, welcome back to my channel everyone. My name is Tyler Hummel and if you are new to my channel, what I do on this channel is I travel around America, I travel around the states, and I explore really cool abandoned locations. If you've been following my channel and watching me for a while, you know that occasionally in the past I have filmed videos where I give out abandoned locations from certain states. And so that is exactly what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. I'm going to be naming off eight abandoned really cool locations in the state of West Virginia. So if you live in West Virginia, pay attention, watch this video. If you want to go to West Virginia, if you're in the area and you want to explore some cool abandoned places or just know about some cool abandoned places, then watch this video. All right, guys, so eight abandoned locations in the state of West Virginia. I'm going to start from number eight and make my way down to number one. Let's go. Okay, so number eight on the list. Number eight is called the Alderson School. This school is located in a town named Alderson and was built in 1901 and abandoned in the 1990s. And so a little bit of history from this place is this place, while it was active, while it was being used, it was transformed into many different educational institutions. I personally actually explored this abandoned location. I'll leave the link to the full video in the description. And I will also throw some photos up here on the screen of the photos that I took while exploring this abandoned location. Um, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool location. It is very, very decayed though, and it's a bit dangerous. Um, you unfortunately can't access too much of the building, although it is super big and it's still standing, it's starting to fall apart. The inside is rotting, it's falling apart, and the stairs are all falling apart. I actually couldn't even go upstairs while exploring this place, so I could only actually explore the first floor. Dropping down to number seven on the list. Number seven is a ghost town named Thurman. The original town Thurman was founded by a guy named Captain Thurman in 1990, and this was a town that actually had a lot of stuff. Um, it had restaurants, it had some stores, it had a bank, and obviously it had, you know, a handful of houses. But due to this town um, going through and experiencing the Great Depression, and many of the buildings were actually set on fire, I don't know how, but they were set on fire and obviously burned down due to those reasons, because of those reasons, this town would end up becoming abandoned. This abandoned ghost town is actually another place in West Virginia that I visited and it's a really cool place. I mean, it's basically now like a historic site. It's an attraction. Um, if you go there, expect to see, you know, a handful of other people. Um, the buildings there are very, very well preserved. You can't actually go inside of them. Like I said, they're very well preserved. But when I was there and I filmed a video, I'll also leave that description, or I'll leave that video in the description. I was there and there was actually a handful of houses um, kind of tucked away up in the hills right next to the ghost town like in the ghost town and I actually walked up through the trails There were some trails you could walk through no one else was up there and I was actually able to get into one house You can go check that video out, but most of the houses are boarded up Most of the buildings are all like I said preserved and locked up um, This place is taken care of very well. All right guys dropping down to number six on the list number six is another school called the Glen Jean School. This school was actually built in the 1920s and was abandoned in the early 2000s. The Glen Jean School, this abandoned school, is located in a town named Oak Hill. And not much to really talk about this place. It's not a humongous building. I've seen a couple YouTube videos on it. It's actually a pretty cool place though. Um, but I heard, I don't know if this is true because I could have sworn I've seen videos taken from this place in the last couple years but apparently the school was gutted in 2017 and as of 2019 apparently most of the building has turned into a skate park like i said i don't know if this is 100 percent true i've seen videos of people filming it i want to say in the past two years but yeah all right dropping down to number five on the list number five is an amusement park and it is called the lake shawnee amusement park this amusement park is located in a town called Rock in West Virginia. Yes, a rock that you pick off the ground. 
This abandoned amusement park was opened in 1926 and abandoned in the year of 1988. Okay, so now to talk about some of the history on this abandoned amusement park. So, before it was even built, before it was even an amusement park, the land was before owned by Native Americans. Native Americans used to live there and there was a lot of deaths and bad accidents that took place while the Native Americans lived here on this land that would soon have an abandoned amusement park built on the same exact land. And so now in the 1950s, after the actual amusement park was built, so about 30 years after it was built, the first death happened here. A girl died on a, ri a ride called the Swinging Ride. I think that's what it was called. Another young boy lost his life here in the 1950s. His arm actually got stuck in a drain pipe and he ended up drowning in the swimming pool. So not only was there many deaths on this same ground, on the same land before the amusement park was even built, but even more deaths occurred after this amusement park was built. So this place seems very creepy. I've heard many people say that it is haunted. I actually really want to go to this amusement park. I really want to do check it out. I heard that it is owned though. Um, you can get tours and stuff. But I mean, I, I've seen many people obviously go there. Just, you know, trespass, go on and explore themselves. Do that at your own risk. I was going to explore this place when I traveled down to West Virginia. But it was just too far. It's Like I said, it's near, it's near the bottom of Virginia. Like I said, in a town named Rock, but I definitely do plan on visiting this place one day. Alright guys, dropping down to number four on the list. Number four is another high school. It is named the Cario High School or Cario. Um, correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but this high school is located, once again, um, correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but in a town named Cario or Cario. After doing some research on this place, I couldn't really find that much other than it was built or opened in 1921 and it was abandoned in 2016, so pretty recent. And I'm almost 100% positive that this school still stands today abandoned. All right, guys, dropping down to number three on the list. Number three is called the Hilltop House Hotel. This hotel was opened in 1888. Yes, that old, 1888, and it was abandoned in 2008. This is definitely one of my favorite on the freaking list. This place is really awesome. I've been to it, although I haven't been inside, but it is located in a small, small city near the top of West Virginia called Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. I've been to this beautiful town many times throughout my life, and one of the first times I ever came there, I discovered this really, really large abandoned building. I didn't know what it was until I read the actual sign, but then I did find out it was a hotel and the place is really, really cool. Unfortunately though, they are making renovations. They're planning to actually re like redo it and turn it into an active hotel once again. All right, dropping down to number two on the list. Number two on the list is called lock number 19. So what a lock is, it's like a building. Obviously you can see from the pictures that I'm gonna be putting up on the screen, but it's like a building. Um, there's a lots of locks when they're built. It's like for a dam system, like you know the dams in the water. It's like set up for like a dam system. Um, I'm not really like um, informed much on this, so I'm not going to talk about it much, but I do have some information off my phone that I will just read to you guys. I'm not going to go crazy into this. It's really not super interesting. I just think, you know, it looks like a cool, really cool little abandoned build, but it says that lock number 13 included a powerhouse to provide electricity to the lock gates, whatever those were, and also to homes that housed the operating staff. Lock number 19 is located in a town or small city um, called Washington. And in 1968, this place was left behind and officially abandoned. Okay, and making our way down to the final one on this list, number one is called the West Virginia State Penitentiary. This abandoned prison was opened in 1876, and it was finally closed and became abandoned in 1995. You can now travel to this place. It is located in Moundsville, West Virginia. It's actually open for tours. This place is actually preserved very well. It's a humongous prison. Unfortunately, it's not one of those humongous abandoned buildings that you can kind of just, you know, sneak through a window and explore. 
the only way you can actually check this place out if you go and you book a tour i'm sure you know if you do research and you find the right number you can get like a private tour or maybe you could even possibly explore it on your own this abandoned prison is also known to be very haunted all right guys so that wraps it up for eight abandoned locations in west virginia comment if i missed anything comment if you want me to find more places in west virginia because i can i do have more locations in west virginia i can always make a part two video if there's any other states that you want now that you want to know some abandoned locations then just leave a comment or dm me on my instagram by the way go follow my new instagram it is called they hate Thai underscore 13 my old one got banned. But yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, occasionally I will do these types of videos where I name off abandoned locations in certain states. I've done a few states so far. I think I've done Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, and Pennsylvania. I think I've done those four. So I might have done Maryland too, actually. I think I did do Maryland. Um, but I'll leave the links to all those videos in my description. Like I said, if you want to know more states, I'll be doing them regardless. But if you want to see one like immediately right now, leave a comment. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.